We're gonna see if we can spend the night in one of Hawaii's most dangerous caves. Whoa! Dude, these waves are way bigger than I thought they'd be. This is gonna be a long night. What's up guys, we just got done exploring the tide pools here in Hawaii. We're gonna see if we can spend the night in one of Hawaii's most dangerous caves, the Mermaid Caves. We're not really sure what we're getting ourselves into yet, but I think we can make it. During the day, a lot of people come here to explore these caves, but at night, they actually turn into a really dangerous cave because the tide sweeps in, filling up the cave with water. We're gonna see if we can survive the Hawaiian Mermaid Cave. And that's our air mattress. All right guys, if we're gonna be spending overnight in the abandoned caves, we definitely have to get some supplies. We're at Walmart because we have to pick up the essentials to help us survive in Hawaii's most dangerous cave. Good morning, welcome to Walmart. All right, so what are we gonna sleep on? I'm liking the look of these air mattresses. I'm not trying to sleep on rocks. All right, we got our air mattress. Are you sure you only wanna get one, Yanni? We're gonna sleep on it together. That's how we bond. Are you sure you don't want to do sleeping bags? Dude, it'll be fine, let's go. Flexio, should we get some of this? Why would we need that? This is the stuff from like the Billy Mays commercial where he's like, I feel Swift here for flex tape. <laughs> that creates a super strong watertight seal. But why, we're sleeping in a cave, what do we need Yeah, flexio? full of water. No dude, put it away, we're not gonna need it. All right, so we're doing decent. We just got some matches and some firewood. That's how we're gonna be cooking our dinner tonight. Should we get some like blankets or something? It's gonna be probably pretty cold down no. there. Are you sure? Yeah, dude, that's what the fire's for. Ah, okay, we're in the produce section now. Yanni, what are we gonna do about food? We're gonna get some meats, like some steak, and we're gonna use our fire to cook the steak. No, dude, let's just get some sandwiches. Even though we're gonna be in a pretty crummy situation, like. Let's still eat well, you know? Like, I can make a mean steak, it'll be fine. They don't really have steak, though. They got this Hawaiian-style teriyaki sliced beef. Wanna do that? Dude, yeah, I would eat that, honestly. It says to cook before serving, so yeah. We're gonna have to fry it up on the frying pan. That's what we're gonna be cooking our Hawaiian teriyaki on. This is com it's coming together. Think, 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 think. We're gonna be there all night. Uh, like an Xbox One and a TV. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should get some like stuff for fun, like board games or something. All right, go to the toy section. section. Okay, we gotta, we gotta get some towels. Water in the cave. Dude, there's no chance I'm getting wet. I'm not gonna go in the water. We don't need them. Yeah, you can't just not get any of this stuff, dude. We're gonna be underprepared for this. You're going in with the wrong mindset. Oh, we're gonna buy all this stuff and then we're not gonna use any of it. Like, let's just be conservative. It's not gonna be that hard. This is where you went wrong. Like, you never signed up for Boy Scouts. I could have nearly been an Eagle Scout if it wasn't for my arthritis. You're disrespecting a future U.S. Army soldier. Where are the flashlights, dude? It's gonna be dark. I don't know, I feel like we should get the pinatas instead of the flashlights. Like, like let's, let's just, just be, conservative. be conservative. I mean, it is Taco Tuesday. We're in the toy section now because we're gonna need some stuff to keep us entertained all night. What do you want to play, Yanni? Jenga? I prefer the wood version. Kids are evolving. That's what happens when you play too much Fortnite and you eat marbles. We have all these games and you want to play Jenga? Yeah, dude. I'm so good at Jenga and it's way more fun. Can you please shut the <laughs> <laughs> Don't you think we need a blanket? It's gonna be cold, Yanni. No, dude. I think it'll be fine. It's pretty humid. All right, we need to get some water. Hydration is key. We're gonna need some snacks. I don't think the viewers really care to watch us like eat snacks. I think it'll be more interesting for them to see us like make a sick meal. We're gonna be trying to survive tonight in a cave. What cave are you going to? You know the mermaid caves? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so we're gonna be doing an overnight challenge there. Oh, wow. Yeah. Cool, like and subscribe. Oh yeah, just another breakdown. We got some firewood for our fire. Lighter fuel because we can't actually make our own fires. I could have nearly been an eagle scout. Hydration is important. Flashlight so we have light during the night in the cave. Fun, more fun. Air mattress to sleep on. Lighters, an eagle scout. And our steak for tonight, which I'm gonna grill over our fire on this pan. So from the ocean, all the way to the edge of that greenery. An underwater cave runs all the way underneath it. At night, it's very dangerous because the tide swells in, filling up the caves, sometimes a little bit and sometimes nearly completely. So hopefully tonight we catch a good, easy going night where the waves aren't too harsh, it doesn't fill up too much and we can pull off 
our overnight challenge. Really not a great area for two Chicago scrubs to wander into. This is the entrance to the cave. All right, Yanni, are you ready, dude? I'm getting a little nervous, that's a big drop. Once we're in there, how are we gonna get out? Be careful not to pop it. Whoa! I right, did. I don't know if this is such a good idea. Oh god! Dude, these waves are way bigger than I thought they'd be. I don't know if this is actually safe. All right, I'm a little, I'm a little bit more nervous. Dude, it's my bag right there. Here, move the supplies back. All right, so we got a little bit of time here before it goes completely dark, so I think we should spend the next half an hour like just setting up our camp and making sure everything's set before it gets too dark. Got our flashlights. This is gonna be a long night. We got our firewood. We're just two scrubs from Chicago. We don't know how to make like a real fire. An eagle scout. Uh, so we're gonna be using lighter fluid. All right, so I created this ring of rocks and then I put the firewood in the middle of that. And yeah, we're gonna start this fire and then that will hopefully keep us warm. Oh, I just covered myself in lighter fuel. Oh, dude, I can smell it everywhere. It's all over me. I gotta wash it off. Boy, I light myself on fire. Make sure you rinse out good. I don't want you to burn to death. I still smell it over here. Is that lighter fluid or is that just water? Like that's lighter fluid, 100%. Because they spread all over me when I try to open it. It's way too dangerous now to light the fire when we have lighter fluid on our mattress. I guess we can't light the fire now. We didn't stop the fire. We need the fire, dude. What are we gonna eat? Raw meat? Well, we probably should have gotten more food. We're gonna need some snacks, Yanni. Yeah, that's why you act. I don't think the viewers really care to watch us like eat snacks. We would have about five seconds to escape or we'd probably get burned to death. Dude, it was an accident. I didn't mean to get it. Now I smell like lighter fluid and that glows as it is. It smells awful. Do you remember when we were like little kids though in the garage smelled like gasoline? Yeah, I love that. I love that, yeah. <laughs> All right, well, it looks like we're not eating dinner tonight. I was kind of excited to eat this Hawaiian-style teriyaki beef. Hold on, can you wait? Can we eat it raw? Yeah. Have you ever heard of salmonella? It has gone completely pitch black up there. Nighttime has dawned on us. As the night progresses, the waves are only gonna get bigger and bigger, and this cave is gonna start filling up. Maybe we should just pass some time and like play some games out here. We're gonna pass some time with some Jenga. It's all good. Everyone loves Jenga. I don't, I don't wanna play Jenga. Right? Dude, it's gonna pass time. It's gonna make you feel better. Trust me. You hear that? The waves are already quieting down as we pull out Jenga. This is just not flat enough to play Jenga, dude. Get the pan. Don't put it on top of it. It's gonna fall like as we're setting it up. This is gonna be the quickest game of Jenga ever played. The pieces are wet, this makes it so much harder. There's no way you have to study hand for that. a really good game. Wow, so excited. I won. Nobody won. The wave won. The air mattress won. There's no winning Jenga in a dark cave. We're gonna try and knock some hours out of this. We, there's nothing to do, so we're gonna go to sleep. Hopefully the waves uh, I'm I'm literally just exhausted, but hopefully these waves chill out because they're so loud It's too dangerous to sleep if this thing like flooded we gotta stay up Dude, I'm so hungry we're gonna need some snacks, Yanni. I really, really wish we got some other than steak. I don't know why we thought it'd be a good idea to cook steak. I think it'll be more interesting for them to see us like make a sick meal. Like, a Dude, honestly, I feel awful. I'm starving, it's really cold. Dude, honestly, this blows. You wanna leave, dude? No. It, it's freezing, dude. We have dude. to finish the challenge. We have no food, we have nothing is to do. Is it raining? 
Yeah, it is, it is raining. It's 2.30 a.m. It just started raining. It's just a light drizzle. Hopefully it doesn't get too much worse. We're trying to make it till 6 a.m. So we got another four Dude, hours. Dude, I just want to go get a Big Mac. So we, got, we have four hours, bro. Just relax. You have a bug on you. Well, you're not even in the frame. Well, I'm trying to get in the frame. I don't care about the frame. It's like the, that was the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Why don't you say louder so that the viewer can actually hear you? Oh, you want the viewer to know that we're idiots for coming in a cave? No, like, why are we in this you, cave? You look like an idiot because you decided to buy a green. No, I shirt. am an idiot because you're I let like, you convince me to come in this damn cave. No, number one, you're an idiot because you didn't let me finish my joke. And my joke was that. No. Oh. Do you like itch? Yeah, my I legs itch so much. I know. Bro. I don't know why, but my legs are really itchy. Oh, cave crabs in my pants, bro. That can't hurt that much more than regular crabs, right? Why you gotta expose me like that? I'm at my lowest point already. This is when we have to be most vulnerable with each other. I'm actually kind of nervous, dude. What if we can't get out of this cave? Two YouTubers die in cave. You know, people have died in this cave before. Right? Hey, you're probably hard. Dude, stop. Seriously, stop. You know how they set up like crosses when people like die like in places tragic. There's like a ton. Of okay, well I don't know. I mean, we're at the beach. We might as well try to have some fun. All right, we're doing this. Then All right. I can go to sleep. All right guys, so it's about 4 a.m. We've kind of done everything that there's nothing else to do. We would love to stay up in this cave and entertain you by playing some board game or some stupid thing that just makes us look like a bunch of jamokes. Acting like a real jamoke. But realistically, if we're gonna try and spend the night here, we, we gotta go to sleep. Dude, the air mattress popped. We're sleeping in a cave. What do we need? To yeah, flexing? full of water. Dude, my shirt is soaked. Hold what up. time is it? Yeah, it's 4:40. Are you okay? No, dude. My arm got banged up so bad, and my back is killing. That's pretty bad. Is it? Yeah. It hurts pretty bad. The wave just crushed me on top of a rock. Dude, I don't know, but I'm soaking wet. I, I, we don't have any blankets. All right, we gotta start packing up. We gotta get out of here. This isn't safe anymore. We can't even sleep anymore because the water level is so high. It keeps taking the air mattress down. Right now, I guess we're in high tide. And these waves, dude, are just coming up all the way. There's like no dry area. With our air mattress, it's just floating away. Even on top of that, our air mattress just is, is top. Just pull yourself up, dude. Cave, it's been real, but we out of here. No, 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 no. You got it? We hope you enjoyed this video. I think we enjoyed the experience overall, so I wouldn't say we really enjoyed it. I wouldn't say that was the best thing I've ever done. I wouldn't even put it in the top five. In fact, that totally sucked. I'm not really sure why we tried to spend the night in that cave. Do you guys think you could handle a night stay in one of Hawaii's most dangerous caves? If so, let us know down in the comments. We'll see you guys in the next one. But until then, remember to keep those nitrates low. George. It's a, it's a long pause. Well, it's a long pause. I never know how long. because George.